Welcome back to another video and we've hit 10,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? Beginning of the year, we didn't even have 1,000 subscribers. So thanks a lot to every one of you that has clicked subscribe. And if you haven't clicked subscribe, make sure you click it before you leave the video because today we're going to be heading over to, we're heading to do some work on the BMW. And this is probably something that has been, um, sort of put behind we we should have really done this when we installed the wheels just to make it look a little bit nicer but I've got a few parts there that we've got to fit and we've got some other stuff as well which a company has sent me to uh, fit on which I'm excited about but first I've got to feed my dog Kevin So if you're new to the channel, you'd know that this is a 120D and if you like, if to some people, we've riced it because we've <laughs> we've changed the bumper to a one end bumper. We've not done anything with the side skirts yet and the, um, I apologise for how dirty the car is. It's absolutely filthy. It's UK winter time and we drive this car pretty much every day and <laughs> that's what it ends up like. But yeah, so we've done the full conversion with the M Sport bumper, the spoiler and now finally um, with the one end bumper on the front which is looking really good i think we need some side skirts i think we need some side skirts extensions which i think we'll probably be, be, be getting in a future video and a front splitter as well possibly uh, but it's looking a lot more aggressive now with that one end bumper now we've got a few things to do today and one of them is we've got to do clean up the discs and calipers on the the we've got to clean up the sort of discs and calipers on the front and rear of the car now if you look at them it well it's absolutely just it just doesn't look great i mean the center here is sort of rusty the brake calipers are all rusty before we do this as well i'm just going to say i'm going to probably get a lot of shit in the comments for this because no matter what you do with these brake with painting these brake calipers there's always someone in the comments telling you doing it wrong now it's only me here today so I can't take the caliper off the brake line and then put them back on because I've got no one here to help me bleed the brakes with I, I, I won't be able to pump the brake pedal in the car whilst I'm undoing the bleed nipple outside here so I won't be able to do that and obviously you can buy bleed kits and everything like that I haven't got one so we're going to be keeping the caliper on, we're going to take it off the disc, but we're not going to take it away from the car But I'll show you how we're going to do it later But this is definitely not going to be a how-to video So for all you BMW specialists, super uber qualified mechanics I'm making this video for your entertainment So please do not tell me in the comments that I'm doing this wrong but Here we have some, a full LED ball kit for my car Now you may have seen in the last in the video where we fitted the, the halo lights Which is in the top right hand corner now um, we fitted some really cheap Chinese bulbs and I mean they're, they're, they're not great but they do the job. I think you pronounce it Orcs Beam. Now the link for their website will be in the description box below if you do want to grab yourself some of these bulbs. Now when I opened these I was actually so shocked at what they look like and how good the packaging was as well and I'm definitely not being biased about this so just check this out. When I opened up this package here, just look at the bulbs, how sick are these so these are going to be replacing your normal h7s but <laughs> look at them uh, if they work as good as they look they're going to be great so let's just go around and let's get them fitted now we'll start with doing the calipers afterwards okay so let's go and fit the bulbs nightmare removing the bulbs out of these headlights it's I actually put these bulbs in before we put the headlights in which was so, so much easier and now this is absolute nightmare if I worked at Halfords I'll be getting sacks now so this is the Chinese bulb and I've just got it out so these are the two Chinese bulbs that I've just got it out and um, they're pretty similar to how the new bulbs work you just literally plug them into where your uh, connectors will plug into uh, I've got to get the side light one out so give me another hour and a half to get the side light out so in here look there's 
like a little cooling fan. Spin round, this is going to be insanely bright, I would have thought. We've nearly done it, we've just got to do the fog lights now. There is a little cover that you can remove inside the wheel arch, which is this, which allows you to get your arm in and get to the fog light. So, then you just got to feel. Right here, here's your little cubby hole, here's the fog light. Let's change that and we'll do the other side as well. Fog light is in. Look at the difference in that. Yeah, boy. Looking sick. Right, let me go get the other side in and I'll check back with you after that. Okay, so this is where it's about to get real messy. I've already started on that side, but I won't show you yet because I'm gonna do it on this side. This bit I'm actually gonna hand paint in Hammerite Black. So first thing, we're gonna um, wire brush this. Calipers off. Um, we've got the caliper mount off as well. I'm going to spray it with some degreaser in a minute. But um, first, this is where it gets. This is where it gets a little bit weird. The caliper and everything is exposed. All we do is going to, we're going to mask over these, the brake line, um, and we're going to cover the arch to stop it from overspraying. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna spray it with some degreaser now. So everything is clean and masked over anything I think is gonna get overspray on. I know this is just looks so sketchy, but let's send it. So I've done the first layer of primer, just a real thin layer. Um, obviously it's high temperature primer. Now I'm gonna uh, only need really one layer of the primer, I think, um, and then I'm gonna go straight in on the high temperature yellow paint. Uh, it's getting dark already. I mean, these winter days are really beginning to piss me off with the bloody, the sun came up and went down quicker than I could really get the wheels off on the car. So I'm gonna start putting the first layer of yellow on this side. I've already done it on that side, but I'll show you how to do it on this side. Right, it is pretty luminous as well. calipers I did that with brush paint but as you can see from the little b-roll that's rolling at the minute it 
It looks all right. It doesn't look too bad at all. It's been literally, I think, a day after now. Uh, they've got a bit grubby and everything, but it, it does look all right and it looks pretty good. So why did I choose yellow of all colours? So you're going to find that out in the next video because we're going to add a little bit more yellow to the car. It's not going to go crazy, but just little touches of yellow I think is going to contrast well with the black. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. It looks all right. I mean, I weren't happy with it, with it to start with, but now it's all dried up and the paint's dry. It does look 10 times better, but I'm getting ready for the heat in the comments anyway. And also, what a difference the headlights and side lights have made to the car. So if you do want to get yourself some of these headlights and the LED bulbs, the link is in the description and use code 10BULB to get yourself 10% off these LED headlights. Because especially if you have got these angel lights, it's going to make a huge difference. Even if you've got the standard um, one series lights, it's going to make the car look a lot newer as well, putting white LEDs in. And also, this is probably going to be the last video that you guys watch on my channel before Christmas. So I'd like to wish you guys, all 10,000 of you, a Merry Christmas and hopefully I may get a video between the Christmas and the New Year, but if I don't, a Happy New Year. And if you're stuck for presents, it's not too late. Head to Easy Skins and grab yourself an Easy Skin for your phone, your girlfriend's phone, your friend's phone, your mum's phone, your dad's phone or tablet or MacBook or whatever. I've wrapped mine this time in a more Christmassy colour of green. I'll probably wrap it in yellow to match the calipers afterwards, but you get the picture. They hooked up the channel. My phone's changing colour every single month, so you guys, make sure you check them out. The link is in the description. Thank you to every single one of you that subscribed. We'll see you after Christmas. Merry Christmas.